Los Sanchez, and we are back home! Yay! After one week gone, we're finally back home, baby. <laughs> so thank you all for coming in. Welcome to episode 490 of Logo History. Man, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and boy, we're glad to see you too. So this is it. We are finally back home, and boy, this is going to be a lot of fun. There are only, as you can see, there are only 11 episodes left in season 5. Can't believe it. We're, the home, we're at the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Season 6 will premiere next year. Get ready for it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Season 6 will premiere after my, after my Americana road trip around, around across America. Let's get ready for it, guys. Man, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So, yeah. Brace yourself for... And don't forget, brace yourself for our brand new series, the, the, the Endless Boston Show, coming next year. Don't miss it. It's, it's going to be exciting, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, sit back and let's get into the video, shall we? Because life is amazing when you get together. So, brace yourself, people. Are you ready? Then here we go. For today's episode, episode 490, we're looking at Yo Play and Adone. Guys, I'm so hyped up for this. I'm so so ready to see what we can do together when we brace ourselves in the in the world like you've never seen before. So yeah, guys, let's get into it. I have seen episode 489. Our previous episode was from uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. It was about Cabillion and Cabillion Girls Rule. Go watch it right now. The link to it is up there at the top of the record screen. See it for yourself. Go check it out. I also did four episode, episode 488, Kellogg's and General Mills, and episode 487, TBS took a... In, uh, in the same city at the same time, yeah, on the same day, so please go watch it as well. Otherwise, sit back and let's dive right into it, shall we? Are you ready? Then here we go. But first, images are taken from OP. Credit goes everybody. The images that you're about to see did not belong to me or nor to anybody else. Remember that as so we go along. Guy, good. But all that said, let's dive in. First, let's take a look. Let's take a look at your play. And here's the show by for those who don't know what your play is. Your play, your play, your play, but you play is the world's largest franchise of brand yogurt. It is jointly owned by American food conglomerate General Mills and French dairy cooperative Sodial. <laughs> now, now I see it's gonna be a little amazing. So yeah, get ready for it, guys. We take a look at the stats here. Brand name is Yogurt Play Industry is Yogurt. By 1965, owners are General Mills with 51% and Sodial with 49%. Most individual country franchises independently uh, around that. Headquarters are in are, are Boulogne, Bélancourt, France. Slogan is, it is so good. <laughs> Love it. Website is www.yoplate.com. I'll put a link in the description down below for you to check it out. Otherwise, sit back and let's go into the logo history of Yoplate. 1965-1985, you have here a an orange and a red flower. Made out, made out of six petals. So two, three, yeah, three orange and three red. That's that's right. The top petal is, and the top right petal is, and the top left petal is red, and the top right petal is orange. <laughs> the other two bells on the left. Yeah, the other two bells on the left. One the bottom left, and one the bottom. The one the bottom center, and one. The, yeah, the one the center left, and one the bottom left are orange. The other two, one the one the bottom right, and the other and the other one the bottom right. Yeah, the one the bottom center, and one the center right, and the other one the bottom right are red. So you know. um, also, also on the flower we have a also we have also we have a red line representing stem. On the left of it, there's another red petal. Yeah, all of this represents a flower. So yeah, so under the flower, there's where yellow plates and black text, and the whole and the whole logo is on a white background. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Here's a variant with our slogan: Get a little taste, the yogurt of your plate. And our slogan: Get a, and, and another variant that says, "Your plate yogurt, get a taste, get a little taste of French culture." <laughs> And that's French culture indeed. So now you know. Um, 1985 to 2005 international and 1985 to 2012 United States. Here we have a red shape on the right of it. A red shape inside it. There's where you play in black text. And on the right of it, there's a, there's a red and orange flower. In, which is the same as the previous logo. So remember that. Red step, no, red light representing a stem. Six petals. Two, three red and three orange. Top left is, the top left is red. Top right is orange. Remember that the center left and center the center left and bottom left are orange. Center right and bottom right are red. I know, and the red and there's also a red and also a red petal and there's a red petal on the right of the flower. So yeah, that's all. Here's a variant. The another variant of the logo, the animated version is so good. We have the version. We have another animated version taken from Canada. Yeah, I love it. We have the version with we have the breast cancer awareness version saying save lives to save lives. So great. And we have another version. And we have another breast cancer awareness version. So remember that. Um, 2005 to the present international, 2012 to 2017 for in the United States, and 2012 to the present for Gogurt. Yeah, that's right. This is what we still use today for Gogurt. Remember that. We just have the word you play in black text. 
and behind it there's a red and behind it there's a red curved line split into two and and, 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 on the top, and on the top left of them there are five there are five shapes from the same petals of a flower three the three red and two orange that's right the first one is red the second one is orange the third one is red the fourth one is also red and the fifth one is orange so yeah that's all here's the version with the slogan oh it's so good i love it uh, the version with a swoosh i know the the, the version where the yoga play, or with oh yoga play, which is played with the yoga cup. No, nope, it's behind it's a leafy texture. That's something I love it. We got the version. We have the animated version used in France. The animated version used in Mexico. Just food la vida. <laughs> this is good. And and yeah, that's it. Uh, and finally, 2017 to the present in the United States. It's the current look we have for you today. So here we have a orange. So here here we have an orange and red flower. Under red, there's where you'll play in dark gray text, and with a dark gray version of the dream at the end. Whew, so, yeah, that's all. Here's the version inside the circle, and the red version. Used on social media platforms, so now you know. Close out this episode, we have Denone, so here's the show by for those who know what Denone is. Denone, brands, put out, Donald. It's a multinational food products corporation based in Paris and founded in in Barcelona, Spain. It's listed on Euronext Paris, where it is a c component of the CAC 440 stock market index. Some of the company's products are brought as Danon in the United States. I know. As of 2018, Danone per sold products in 120 markets and has sales uh, in 2018 of 24.65 billion euros. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little, this is getting pretty interesting here. In the first half of 2018, 29% of sales came from specialized nutrition, 19% came from waters, and 52% came from dairy and plant-based products. So, and that's something you may never know about. So, yeah, we got to this ask your company name is Danone Industries Food Processing by 1919. Owners are MFS Investment Management with 8.3% and Blackrock with 5.9%. Headquarters are in Boulevard, Hausmann, Ninth, Arrondissement, Paris, France, which is Operation and, uh, and Hoofdorf, Netherlands, Global. They now have the slogan website www.danone.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. Make sure you go check it out. Otherwise, sit back and let's get into it. The logo history of Danone. 1967 1985. Here we have a a blue red oval shape inside the sort of a white text under it there are three transparent lines on the there are the oval shape so yeah under the oval shape that's where today again but this time a blue text Whew, so yeah that's all i gotta say 1974 to 19, 1971 to 1974 we have here we have two shapes both on a white outline one blue and one light blue inside the blue shape there's where today in white text so that's all here's the printed version 1982 to 2004 we have here a blue gray and rounded shape Inside of this one, da -da -da, in white text under it, there's a red, there's a red curved line. <sighs> Man, that's a lot of fun. Here's the print version, for the version with the slogan, being better every day. Love it. And the print version with the slogan, being better every day, as I know. Just the fortune of present. This is the current logo, this is one of the current logos of da -da -da. Here we have a blue rounded shape on a white outline. Inside of this one, da -da -da, in white text under it, there's a red curved line. A red curved line, line representing a smile. And coming come out from the top of it, uh, uh, there's a white glow. Man, it's a lot of fun. I really love it. Here's the print version. If I turn to the present, it's the same logo, but now the shade has been removed. The word Danone is that blue green text, and the glow and the, and, and the glow above the, above the smile, um, above the curl line has been removed, and now it is less th thinner, and, and now it's slightly thinner and smaller. <sighs> so that's all. Here's the variant, and that's it. It's over. Thank you for watching this episode of Logo History. We'll be back tomorrow with another exciting episode. Please leave a like, share with your friends, leave a comment below, and subscribe to notifications for all time. new video for me. As we're on the road to 1,500 subscribers, yay! Get ready for you guys, and I uh, hope you have a lot of fun. I'm going to send you to Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow on Logo History. Tune in tomorrow for episode 491 as we head back to Japan. As we take a look at Meiji, stay tuned for it. I can't believe it. So yeah, Meiji is tomorrow on. Uh, it's coming your way tomorrow on episode 491 of Logo History. Be on the lookout for that. And don't forget, Serious Supremacy's, uh, Supremacy is coming up shortly. Yeah, it'll be about uh, as uh, Baba Rima Bows, Heisuke, and then, and then soon on Logo History 2. KTVT, KTXA, WRC TV, Dogman, WJTV are on subject for that episode. On Moshi Monster Biomi, we'll be looking at some robots. On, uh, yes, on, uh, Movie History, Walt Disney Animation Studios, we'll be taking a look at the Raymond's Attendant. And coming this Saturday, on, on Rob Show for someone else, Logo History Result, we will be taking a look at, yeah, we will be taking a look at, oh, oh yeah, that's right, Call of Duty. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. I'm going to just say off. Like, bear, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in another video. Laters!